initiative at the beginning of the week that we were going to get Charlie in the paint no matter what. And uh, young men on that line, they they took that serious. The staff took it serious. And and we, we only had one attempt to try it, and he got it there on the first one, which was wonderful. Um, so I'm proud of Charlie, of who he is and how he represents this program. He's a 4.0 4 student. He's above board on everything, never on anybody's list, and helps everyone that ever endeavors to come to him for advice, for support, for knowledge in the running back room as well. So thank God uh, for Charlie. Thank God for the fans. I think we sold out once again. Uh, I didn't see a seat available, and I don't know what that, that smell that I smell every week uh, that goes on in the second quarter. But I'm, I see a lot of people up there smiling, so I don't know what it is. I saw that we paid a tribute to uh, Miss Peggy. That was phenomenal. Um, I think well, she, she's, she's breaking the, the 100, right? Tuesday. I think she, Tuesday? Tuesday. I think she got some Sunday, though, right? Yeah. What she got Sunday? She got her birthday party Sunday. At the crib? Uh, Peggy, Peggy got a party at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> I love her to life. God, I love her to life. And uh, I'm so thankful, Jess. It seems as though the bowl is getting better and better and better because we're so focused and we're so dedicated on week to week, not looking down the street, but week to week. And I'm so darn proud of our coordinators, the staff, the young men, um, the women that's in this program, chef, cooking his butt off in the kitchen, the training staff, everybody done a phenomenal job. Let's go. Go ahead, Nikki. Hi, Coach. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, Nikki Edwards, you Sports Report. You scored a season-high 49 points against the best defense in the Big 12. What went into that game plan in exploiting uh, Utah's defense? Well, we wanted to really protect that quarterback. Every week we say, let's protect that quarterback. Let's do some things that uh, we don't feel like they can stop. We feel like we have the best receiving core in the country. Uh, we can protect the quarterback, and those guys, uh, eventually they're, they're going to get open, especially if we have the assistance of a running game. And we did. We showed flashes of having a, a running game. Uh, Isaiah did a phenomenal job today um, breaking one, but we got to be more consistent with that. And the uh, sky would be the limit if we can really have consistency in a, a, a like a – I don't. The word escapes me. What I'm trying to say, but we need to really want and desire and, and, and just have passion to run the football at times. I, I think we're liking that, but prayerfully we we get it going because it, it, we could do some remarkable things if we have a more balanced offense. Lincoln, go ahead. Lincoln Roach, CU Independent. Um, how's the team feeling right now after finally breaking that seven-year uh, losing streak against the Utes? Today? Well, we don't care about that. We we went here then, so we could care less. Um, I just walked out of the locker room, and, I, and I'm pretty sure there's a party going on, and somebody's rapping. That, that's, how, that's how they feel. Uh, they feel really good. They feel really good about what they just accomplished, and they should. We, every week, we warn them to, to be gentlemen and be men. Um, so we want you to go out and have a good time, but don't do nothing to threaten what you worked your butt off for in this moment is that. Adam, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Adam Mr. Tiger, 24-7 Sports. Congrats on the win. Uh, Thank you. Utah, just 31 rushing yards. What, what yeah. can you say about the way Robert Livingston has that group plan? Um, these guys are dedicated. Um, Coach, Coach Liv is doing a phenomenal job, but uh, D. Lou and Sapp, they ain't playing, as well as Dancy. And uh, Coach Hart at the linebacker's position. And, and Coach Mathis challenged the DBs to be physical this week because they're, they're going to have to show up in the run game as well. Um, we know they're on their third or fourth quarterback. We understand that. But... Um, we're happy with where we are, and we know where we could be. That's the thing. We're not even where we could be right now. You see the mistakes. You see the little things that we could clean up. But when you look at the statistics, you say, dang, that was phenomenal. I mean, stopping the run at that point. Um, so I'm, I'm, I keep reiterating this. I'm so darn proud of these young men and this organization. Charlie, go ahead. Ron Skulls from Ralph Report. Travis had a tremendous day. He had an interception, a touchdown, and then one of the crazier catches you'll ever see. Mm -hmm. What would your message be to Heisman voters who are undecided in I his case? I ain't get no message. No Heisman voters is undecided. If they can't see, they can't see. It is what it is. I mean, Travis is who he is. He's supposed to go to the best college football player. I think that's been a wrap since, what, week two? So... We ain't petitioning for nobody. We ain't doing that. We we got a wonderful so display of cameras here, and I think we on national television every week. If they can't see it, some, there's a problem. Don't allow their hatred for me to interfere with our kids' 
success. They got to stop that. Y'all got to stop some of y'all like that. Y'all got to stop that, man. Get the kids what they deserve, man. I don't have my turn. You had, well, I played 14 years. You had 14 years to hate me. Now let it go. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Uh, Brian Howell, Bullet Daily. Colorado head coach Deion Sanders with some interesting comments at the end there, talking about Travis Hunter and his Heisman hopes. As mentioned coming in, Hunter minus 240 to win the Heisman. So pretty close to a lock at this point. And the Charlie that Dion was referring to at the beginning of the clip there was Charlie Offerdahl, who scored a touchdown today on his single rush, a four-yard rush. And you look at Hunter today versus Utah, five receptions for 55 yards. He had the five rushing yards and his first career rushing touchdown. He also added an interception. That's why his odds have improved to minus 240 to win the Heisman.